What is going on guys? Jack here and today I've got for you guys an East Side Hockey Manager early access tutorial on how to get logo packs installed into your game. In this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get stuff like competition logos such as the NHL logo you can see in the top left as well as various team logos in game. They come in a variety of sizes and will appear across all the different pages of your game and they make your game look a lot nicer. If you'd like to learn more about how to install the correct leagues and get real rosters that are licensed check out the link in the description uh, for a video covering that. So anyway, uh, to begin with, uh, what we're going to do is we are going to go to a web page. We're going to go to thebluelineline.com or EHM, thebluelineline.com. Fantastic website. You will have to sign up on the forum to get this file, but this place has all the resources you'll ever need. Can't recommend the site enough. Uh, and once you're here, you're going to get onto this web page. As I mentioned, you will have to sign up on the forum, uh, but once you're here, there's a download, it's 30 megabytes, you just click the top link of this linked thread which I'll put in the description of the video. And once you're here, you're just going to right click on this All Logo Packs V2 and hit Download. I'm not going to do that because I'm already signed up. Uh, once you've done that, you'll have this zip file in your Downloads folder. Now, if you don't know how to unarchive and unzip zip files, I've actually recorded a separate mini video to cover this. Uh, I'll put a link down in the description for that, as well as a download link to WinRAR's website. So once you've got this zip file, you're just going to hit right click, extract all two, and then logo pack v2. Once you've done that, you'll have a folder, and within this folder, there is going to be a clubs and a comps folder. What you need to do is you need to take these two folders here and uh, copy them to your clipboard. So once you've done that, the next step is fairly simple, is to install these two files. Within these files and within these folders, I should point out, there's all the different logos that you could ever want for your game. I think there's over 2,000 in this pack. It's incredible. And uh, it makes your game look pretty fresh. So anyway, next step, go to Steam uh, and go to your East Side Hockey Manager Early Access game. Within your games library, you'll have a libraries button up at the top, games, and then you'll have your game somewhere along the left here. Now, one thing that's just worth noting is the fact I am using a Steam skin to mine. might look slightly different, but everything is in the same spot. Anyway, the next step is to right-click the game from your libraries list, then go to Local Files, Browse Local Files. Here you'll see where your game is installed. The next thing you need to do is click on the data folder and then you're going to go to where it says pictures. So that is Eastside Hockey Manager Data Pictures. You can see where mine's installed here. Yours will be slightly different. So if you want to search manually, it's within your Steam Steam Apps folder. Anyway, the next thing to do is go to pictures and then within here you'll see there's various different kind of um, folders. The one you're going to be interested in is logos. If for whatever reason you don't have a logos folder, all you need to do is create your own, making sure it's all lowercase. Anyway, once you've done that, you're going to click. So you're now within Eastside Hockey Manager, data, pictures, logos. And then you're just going to paste the two files or rather two folders that you copied previously. Now, because I've already pasted them, it's a bit silly me doing the same, but once you've done that and you have these two folders of all the different um, logos within Eastside Hockey Manager's folder, you are done and uh, you'll have them appear in your games. So anyway, hopefully this tutorial helped. If you struggled with any points, let me know in the comments. Uh, taking things fairly slow there, but it's fairly a fairly simple process. You don't need to worry about refreshing your cache or anything. If for whatever reason the logos don't appear in game, restart your game, and if you've done everything right, they'll reappear at the second time of asking. But yeah, that's going to wrap things up for me. If you did find this Eastside Hockey Manager Early Access tutorial useful, hit the subscribe button. If you've got any comments with regards to this, let me know down below. If it helped, smash the like button. And other than that, it is me, Jack, and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. I'm out.